All right, hello. So, this is a tutorial for uh, people who want to uh, convert, uh, let's say, yeah, hold on. for people who want to convert uh, Blender models to uh, GUI models. Because uh, it's very it's, it's a very complicated to do that. And also, this will be a tutorial. It'll show you how to do it for Bones as well. So pretty much, um, wait for this to load. All right, so I'm gonna open up my model. This is just a, just a random model I have because I used to do stuff in VR chat. So um, so you wanna make sure you have your model and that it's uh, rigged. And you have like this armature here. You can. Uh, like go into these and uh, move it around and such. That's extremely laggy. Whatever. Whatever it's fine. So you want to have your model. You want to have make sure it's textured by going to shading, uh, and then uh, clicking on whatever model and setting up your textures with this stuff. Uh, you can find a lot of tutorials about that online. Doesn't really matter. Oh, Jesus. So, once you have uh, this, you want to go to a you want to go to a page that has the source engine. What is it called? Um. Um, yeah, Blender Source Tools. Uh, I'll find it real quick. Blender Source Yeah, here we go. I'll put this link in the description uh, for anyone who wants to use it. Uh, I just put this in here. You can you probably uh yeah okay. So you want to go? You want to install Blender from Steam? Or, well, you probably already you. If you're watching this, you probably already have a model that you want to port into whatever. So if you have Blender, you want to also have Gary's mod installed because that's kind of needed. And then you want to install this, which you want to go here, and then you download it from here. I'll leave this link in the description. And then once you have that, you go into Edit Preferences, go to Add-ons, uh, and then hit Install and uh, find the zip file, uh, which would be something. I, I don't think it's in here. Whatever. You find your zip file, and then it will import it, and then you just uh, you just find you would you would. Uh, I go to that and just do uh, Blender Source Tools, and then you would enable it. Once you enable it, you will go. Uh, it should be. I don't know what, what. I think it defaults to Hacken. I don't know what it defaults to. Preferences. No. I don't know, but you want to go up to this little icon on the side, on this sidebar, and you want to click on it, and you want to go to Properties. And then you want to go down to this icon, which is the little uh, like raindrop stuff, and you go down to see Source Engine Export. So pretty much, uh, you don't really need to do anything with this, you just want to put two slashes in this. This will tell you, it'll just tell you to export it to the folder that you have this saved in. Uh, and so you would switch this to SMD. Uh, I don't really know which one of these. I don't think any of these really. This is up axis, so I don't really care about this. I have it on Z because that's like, I don't know, just what I have it defaulted as. But uh, <coughs> it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Uh, but you just do that. Uh, you keep this as. <coughs> I'm dying. You keep this as source, and then uh, you'll hit export.
and then whenever you hit export, you want to hit scene export. Once you do that, yeah, so once you click that, it'll export it and then say a bunch of stuff. And it will export your model, it'll export your model with bones. It'll, it'll, cause since this and this are pretty much the same thing, it'll export it with the rigged bones. Once you have that, you want to go to your thing here, and you want to go to wherever you saved it. I have it saved in here. Um, yeah, it'll export. You'll have uh, this blend file. I don't know why I have two blend files, whatever. Uh, and then you'll have an SMD VTA. And I think, that, I, think, I think this is all you'll have uh, based on that. And then you'll probably have your textures saved wherever. I have a bunch of PNGs and stuff, since this is not from Blender or whatever. Yeah, so you'll have these two things, uh, which you only need the SMD. So you want to copy this from wherever you have it saved. You want to make a new folder. Uh, I just have this as testing. And you want to, I'll, I'll make a new folder actually. You make a new folder, uh, name this tutorial, you can name it whatever you want. And then you want to take your model and yeet it into here. Now, uh, after you do that, you'll want this QC thing. I'll have a download for it in the description. Uh, so pretty much uh, you, it doesn't really matter what you name them, I'd probably name them the same thing, uh, it doesn't really matter if it's body or whatever you have the model named, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, but then you want to open this QC file, and you want to change, uh, you want to change body, to whatever you want, to, whatever you, uh, you can name this whatever you want, and then you want to change this to be this. This is in the same folder. So this will be the model that you're converting. Uh, since it take it takes uh, where this is and then goes up uh, one and then just looks in this folder or whatever it is. So then you want to go to the model name. Model name. This will be where it saves it in this. So it'll put it in. Uh, it'll put it. It'll make a folder will be like models and then we'll put Bob's models slash a valley and then yeah and then you can name this whatever you want as long as you have MDL at the end uh, MDL um, and then once you have that I really wouldn't say doing this uh, but you can if you want it's just a hassle kind of and then the idle, you just do the SMD again. The collision uh, collision model will be the SMD. And the materials, uh, just do this. You can rename this. You can rename what's in this all you want, but it won't really do much. Uh, once you have all that, uh, you can save this. And then you want to go over to your browser. And you want to go to this link, which I'll have in the description. And you want to click on uh, Crowbar 0.72. This will uh, do this. If you click external link, it'll download it. And then you just install it. It shouldn't be that hard to install. You can find a tutorial somewhere, because I found a tutorial. And then you just want to start Crowbar. And once you have it started, I think it will have it up here. I don't really know. I don't exactly know where it starts, but you want to find compile. Yeah, you want to find compile, and then you want to have you want to do QC input. You want to do browse, and then you want to go to wherever you have it at, and uh, click on the QC file here. Wherever you have it saved, you'll just find it in your PC files and such. And then you want to go to, uh, I used work folder just because it's useful, but you can do subfolder, which will just make another subfolder using work folder because it's easier. 
but you can go into if you use work folder you can just click into this and it will save it into here uh, and then you want to go you want to if you changed your uh, Gary's mod place your Gary's mod exe file where it is uh, you'll you'll want to set up games uh, you want to find this you want to go to the executable which is by going to uh, wherever you have your steam data which I have it in uh, a drive you want to go to you want to find it go to steam apps go to common and then go down to Gary's mod and then click on this the hl2.exe you want to open it it'll have this and then you want to change uh, this uh, library path to whatever folder whatever folder is uh, that, that you have the steam apps folder in so uh, I have it in this folder but I have in that folder, it's, yeah, and then you just, uh, you hit, uh, go back, and it will update, I believe. And you can check this, and it will tell you your gmod, uh, directory, Gary's mod, it will say, like, uh, the direct, directly to it, and then it will use this, which is studio MDL, which is a built-in program to, uh, gmod that you, that they used to, convert models to MDL. And so pretty much this will auto-generate a command for a command prompt uh, and you want to select your Gary's mod from here. And then once you have all this set up you just hit compile. Uh, I'll, I'll compile it. You wait for it to compile. This is a very small model. It's not, it's not uh, the model that I exported but it's a small model. Uh, you export it from here and then you can keep this whatever. Uh, and then we'll make a models folder, uh, and then here's all your stuff. So then, to port this into Gmod, you want to uh, you want to take all of this. Uh, you want to get literally any uh, zip program. I'm going to use Seven Zip. It's not horribly hard to find. Uh, and then you want to uh, add it to an archive, and you want to make sure that it's store, not any of these other ones. You want to make sure that it says store in the compression level. Uh, most programs will have compression level. It's usually what they have. And then once you do that, it'll send it to a compressed zip, uh, which that is not in the right place, but whatever. Yeah, so then you have this... Uh, Yeah, so you have that. This model doesn't have any bones. I should probably do a model that has bones. But I can show you that it actually works. Let me grab my other model. And I'll show you how fast you can do this. Uh, so I'll grab this. Uh, paste it in here. Uh, replace the file. And since it's named the same thing, I could just hit compile again. This will take a bit longer since I since that's a boned model, but it shouldn't take a horrible amount of time. And this is like the most basic QC file that I could find. Since I don't know how, how QC files work, they're annoying, whatever. But this is just a basic one that I use. Uh, it tends to work perfectly however I want. Uh, and as you can see, you can see bone changes. So it automatically will update, it'll automatically update bones if they, if the model has them baked into them. Like an armature or something. And I shall wait for this to finish. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, now it's compiled. Now you can minimize that, you can open this, and then you can take all of this and
you want to go to this you want to uh, drag this folder into here oh nope you want to find wherever you have this stored I'm just gonna find it tutorial uh, models this and then select all of these uh, 7 zip add to archive here you go so store and you hit ok and then you don't need 7 zip anymore you can rename this to whatever you want and then um, I use OneDrive but you can use any software you want uh, I'll have this link in the description as well for uh, from the pack wiki you can this is for hosting online con content uh, some of it doesn't work but I don't, I don't really know uh, I usually use OneDrive so I'm just gonna do uh, OneDrive. so all you want to do for OneDrive is uh, put this into here it'll do it eventually yeah, there we go this uh, hit share Hit uh, copy. You want to hit copy again because it, sometimes it doesn't copy. And then for OneDrive, it has a converter here. Paste it in here. Uh, and then you'll have your link. You just paste this into a model. And I'll open up Gmod to show you that it actually does have that model. I'll skip this. Uh, be back in a second. Alright. So. Now that you're in Gmod, this is very laggy. Uh, I don't know why. And it's probably because I'm recording, whatever. Now that you're in Gmod, you can open up your thing and go to uh, put in a model. Uh, set its bone to nothing, and you can move it over. This is just for seeing if it works. You can mess around with it uh, later. So then you just want to take this link that you already have generated and put it into the model. It will then download the model from the web and if and sometimes and with stuff that's uh, in Blender it looks like small. So since this bottle model is kind of small, is very is very small in this game, you can just change the size and it might scale it up. Uh, if it doesn't, if you don't think it's working, then it probably is. But yeah, so here's the model. It doesn't have any textures. It doesn't port it with any textures. And texturing isn't that hard. But if I add a bone, and then go to this, you'll see there are bones. As you can see. And yeah, so you you can't you know, unless you have the actual Gmod like uh, like the armature that they use, you can't just bone merge this to this. But I mean, it works because I have a pack that uses. Yeah, so that's how you import uh, bones and such to uh, Gazemon. You're welcome for that. See ya.